Hi guys, Heather here. Today I'm fortunate enough to have the brand new Lamborghini Uticon Performante in the showroom. It's a touring car, so I want to take advantage of that and walk you through all the amazing features of this brand new innovation for Lamborghini. I'm Heather Ballantyne. I'm a super luxe entrepreneur and I'm crushing it. So let's start with the front of this amazing new variant of the Uticon line. It was inspired by the Gallardo Superleggera, which was first introduced for Lamborghini in 2007. But this new variant, the Performante, has taken it to a whole new level. As you see here in the front fascia, you'll see these small letters ALA. I'll get into more detail on this soon, but this was an amazing new innovation by Lamborghini, which allowed this car to literally become the king of the ring. You'll see the beautiful forged carbon fiber composite. Um, a lot of people are questionable about this pattern, but there is a reason behind it. This particular composite allows for more flexibility to create uh, the shapes that were needed, the, the very advanced geometric shapes needed to allow the ala to do its job. And with the gloss finish, I really love the way it looks. You'll see the front fascia is very aggressive now. I love it. It allows for the air intake so that you get more downforce and it just allows for aerodynamics, which increases your performance for driving. And the paint here, you have several options for paint with Lamborghini. There's always the Ad Personum program if you want to custom something or color match to one of your favorite colors. But this is the Bianco Icarus. It's a metallic white, which is a $2,800 option. Now they do have the standard Nero Noctis or Bianco Monacaris, which are free of charge, but if you'd like this beautiful metallic finish, it will cost you $2,800. There are five metallic paints to choose from, as well as three pearls, and then an unlimited number of ad personum options. And there are also mattes, which are really incredible. There's a new matte orange that you've just gotta see. Um, you'll notice the style pack on the front fascia. It gives you a beautiful gloss black, and that will carry through on your side mirrors, your rockers, your C grill inserts, and just below the rear wing, you'll also see it. Um, and last but not least, it does make your exhaust pipes gloss black. So if you're choosing a black rim, it's a really nice feature to give you a beautiful flow from the front to the back. If you're going with silver rims, you might prefer the standard uh, gray exhaust pipes, but you have that option as a consumer. So you'll see here, this rim is the 20 inch Loge. It has the black central locking, and they've chosen with this combination to do a red brake caliper. Now the, the factory does not recommend a red central locking with a red caliper because the reds don't quite exactly match up. So if you prefer a red caliper, they recommend a black central locking or vice versa. It's really up to you what kind of combination you want to create. Now they have some really cool rim options, including a gold rim that will match your beautiful, naturally aspirated gold V10 engine. So let's talk about the flag. Um, I love this. It's an optional livery. You can order it with or without the stripe also inspired by the Gallardo Superleggera that was released in 2007 by Lamborghini. And you'll see just right behind the front wheel, the Performante insignia. So it's up to the buyer if they want this. Um, it's available on any of the color combinations, but I think it's a really um, beautiful option. I love the SV logo. I feel like the SVs without the logo look a little naked and I feel the same about this. It's a performante, embrace it and let the flag fly. If you look here in the back, it was very inspired by motorbike experiences and you'll see this open space here which allows you to see that brand new P0 Corsa tire. It's just really a beautiful design. I love what they did here. 
And you'll see again this gorgeous gloss finish carbon fiber composite here. We have the beautiful transparent engine bonnet. Now this is a definitely more aggressive design than the typical V10 Uricon. You'll see the venting here, which works for the ALA airflow. And uh, just under the wing, if you feel here, you'll feel ridges. And the air actually travels through the wing and out, which is gonna increase your downforce. So we still have the V10 naturally aspirated engine, 5.2 liter. They've tuned it to have 640 horsepower. So you're getting more horsepower, still all wheel drive, but you get the ALA technology. This is the new technology that they created. They won the innovation award for this. And obviously the car blew away not only the Super Veloce, but also the 918 on the Nürburgring. So uh, they did their job well but it's pretty amazing to see it in person. So you'll see here on the wing, ALA. This actually stands for Aerodynamica Lamborghini Ativa. But a cool fun fact is the word ALA means wing in Italian. So you guys probably noticed the more aggressive uh, rear here. Um, they've moved the exhaust pipes up to a more central location. This is because purely when you're driving in Corsa, in a racing mode, it's gonna give you a more emotional racing sound. They've also redesigned the muffler, the monocat, as they call it, to reduce back pressure and weight. So there is a reason for this new design, even though I love it because it's purely beautiful. Um, I love the design, it's, it's a very aggressive look, but it gives you that amazing racing sound as well. When you first open the door, you're gonna notice this beautiful laser engraving. Now this is specific to the new Uricon Performante, and you'll notice a lot of forged carbon. Um, it's on your door handles, it's on your air vents, your paddles, and the whole center tunnel here has it as well. This was a very expensive option previously if you were ordering a 6104. So it's pretty amazing that this comes with your car when you're ordering the Performante. Now, you have a choice of seat. Um, I love the look of this sport seat. It's incredible, and if you are a track guy, you're gonna definitely want this seat. However, if you're buying this car to drive daily in and around town, you may prefer the comfort seat option. You can choose that free of charge. They are offering you either or, uh, depending on what kind of guy you are. But um, this sport seat is truly beautiful. You'll see the carbon fiber. Um, it's exposed on the rear here and just under the headrest. I love that the Lamborghini branding logo is embroidered. And with this particular option, you have the signature SV stripe you may recognize from the Super Veloce, but also the laser engraving. So it's just a beautiful combination. And if you want to take that further, you are allowed to order a Performante floor mat that will incorporate the color of your choice. So it's just really beautiful and you can customize it to whatever color combination uh, you prefer. The Anima allows us three modes, just like the other variants of the Oricon line, Strata, Sport, and Corsa. But with this car, they've come up with a new dash. So when you put it in Corsa, you're gonna get this incredible new visual. There's no missing the red line with this new visual. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna have the opportunity to drive this car in Italy at Imola in May, so uh, I'm really looking forward to using this. And it even shows you uh, the G-Force reading here, and there's a new telemetry option, so you can uh, get really technical on tracking your track skills. Um, it gets right down to the second, so it's gonna be fun to explore that. I love the carbon fiber, as I said before, here on the center tunnel. And if you'll notice, this is all a beautiful gloss piano black. They did not leave out the cup holder, so if you gotta have that Starbucks, then there you go. They did make glove compartment an option um, to save weight. This one has it, but it's really up to the consumer what they prefer to do with the configuration. And something, this is silly, but I noticed it. Here in the center console, there is now a spot for your phone. 
So I find that very practical. Uh, they listened to the feedback of the buyers and a lot of my clients were very happy to have a spot to put their phone here in the center console. And now this car is equipped with Apple CarPlay, so you're able to connect your phones for Bluetooth, but you'll be able to also access all your apps. So how about we start this up and hear how it sounds? So thanks for joining me today, guys. As soon as I get my Performante demo, we'll be doing a full drive and review, but I'm at least glad I was able to give you a walkthrough of the features of this beautiful brand new variant to the Uricon line, the Lamborghini Uricon Performante. And if you'd like more information on ordering one, please come and see us at Lamborghini Uptown Toronto. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and hit that like button. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I hope to have you along for the journey.